We have new Season 6 Midweek content where you can get a Dark Matter Steph Curry for free. But first, I'm going to try and pull him. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. So we have new bold packs right here, guys. And we're going to be doing a pack opening in this video. And we're going to try and pull the Dark Matter Steph Curry. So to begin this pack opening, guys, make sure you do subscribe to the channel right now if you enjoy and want more pack opening content. Now, pack openings are for watching, not for duplicating. Leave the pack openings to me because you can get every card right here absolutely free, including the Dark Matter Steph Curry. Now, on my main account, this account right here, I open packs, but my no money spent, that's where I'll do something like this and try and get this Dark Matter Steph Curry so you can be on the lookout for the next no money spent episode. We have two weeks to get this done, and honestly, the challenges seem really simple. 50 rebounds with Pistons players. There's a there's a, mainly they're all offline, which is great, and it's the start of the season, so there's so much to grind. 200 points in the paint, that's easy. Like You just get that throughout playing. 150 dunks offline again win four games using 10 warriors players it does not exclude challenges then we have 53 pointers over a triple threat online again standard it's stuff you're going to do and make 44 pointers over multiple clutch time offline more offline so honestly very simple grind i can't imagine too many people will complain about this i think that's solid i think the only thing people will complain about is because it's for a steph curry not the best card out there but let's see the odds we have 97 plus. See, I don't like it when 2K do this where they make the odds worse. Like we literally have Eclipse packs right here that have a 2% chance for a dark matter. So I don't know why bold isn't gonna be 2%. We have equal chance though. It contains one guaranteed bold player at an equal chance. And that includes the Steph Curry. So it's a 16% chance for a dark matter. Feel like I should open up that. I feel like that's the best value but I'm going to go with a 20 box for sure. And let's see. Let's see, man. We're diving into this box. Let me know, man, if you're grinding for this Steph Curry. I I definitely will be on my main account. Oh, not my main account. On my, uh, what do you even call it? No Money Spent account. Didn't know what I was talking about then. But I've already dropped episode one of the No Money Spent. Galaxy Opal, let's get it. Episode one of the No Money Spent. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend checking that out. We're going to get Julius Randle in pack number two and apparently this card is really good. He can play the small forwards, so I'll take it. Hopefully these cards are expensive as well. But episode two of the No Money Spent, it's going to hit pretty different, I think. I've already started recording it and it's going just as planned for sure. And now that 2K have dropped this promo, there's no way that I don't. Like if I get this done as well, I'm going to make some crazy upgrades, including get the first Dark Matter on the account, which would be unreal to see to see Curry for sure on the squad be cool. Like Steph Curry cards, like I was saying, Pink Diamond pulled. For some reason, I thought Pink Diamond was like the best, but these Pink Diamonds are pretty trash. But Steph Curry cards, they are, they're good. They're really fun and everything. But the later we get into the into the year and we just keep getting more and more like cheesy cards, like we got 100 overalls and stuff like that. But Steph Curry being a short point guard can always sort of affect him a little bit. We're shaking again, back to back Pink diamonds but it's just the fact that he's short but Steph Curry cards I, I don't really care like he's fun Steph Curry cards are fun to use and a lot of people try and tell you like you shouldn't use Steph Curry but nah screw that you if you want to use Steph Curry use Steph Curry because he's got his cards are super fun even if especially if you're offline grinding he might be like the greatest offline card of all time versus the CPU with a Steph Curry now nah, it's absolutely barbecue chicken when it comes to that three-point shooting we're shaking for the fourth time I think that's a diamond there's no diamonds in here, so this would have to be a series two. It's a point guard, it is Tyrese Halliburton, so it is a series two card. More than likely could make his way to the exchange. Then again, I might just rather the MT for it because you can get the exchange cards pretty easy. I made a video about that recently as well, but this is pack 10, halfway through the box. I'd love to just pull Curry, and the equal chance packs. It gives you the best chance at a Dark Matter, no doubt, but it gives you a freaking good chance at a Pink Diamond or a Galaxy Opal as well. And 45,000 MT, 
45,000 VC, sorry. Like, am I, you know, how many is it gonna take? How many of those equal chance packs will it take until I get a dark matter? So it just feels a little, little risky, you know? But I, I feel like with a, with a 20 box, I mean, I'm making a full pack opening video. So regardless, I would still say packs aren't worth it, no matter what the pack is, unless it's 100% free. But if you are just absolutely itching to open up something, your best chance is gonna be that equal chance if you're trying to get Steph Curry. We get OG right here. We've pulled a lot. The other Galaxy Opal is, is RJ, Richard Jefferson. So if I could see him and Steph Curry by the end of this box, that saves me a, a 14, a 14, sorry, it says 14 days in the grind, but um, it saves me a long ass grind. So, but then again, I don't think I'd get it done on this account anyway. Pack 16 does shake again. That is like my fourth pink diamond, I think. Gonna make some MT from these if they uh, if they do sell. My third Boris D out. I would not be mad if you made this one holographic 2K. I love the bold old promo the color of it all the pink and the blue and everything you can't lie it looks good it looks clean i don't i don't think you can uh, deny that pack 17 no dark matter in it dante exum I'm Australian, but I'm still still don't want to pull that card. Pack 18, nothing inside of it as well. I do have to definitely check Twitter though and see what people think. I don't think the Steph Curry grind is bad. I think it's reasonable, but I gotta see what the people say. Cause sometimes the people the people think I'm wrong a lot of the time because I try and be positive. So the cards are pretty cheap. This Julius Randle is only 50,000 MT. Solid card for sure, but 50K is cheap. The singles are 15,000 MT. Well, We'll open up some singles, see if they're uh, if they're paying out any better than the boxes. The box, it didn't treat us awfully, you know. One, we got one Galaxy Opal and like four or five pink diamonds, one diamond, one amethyst or something like that. So it was an okay box because these prices, see these boxes, 2K make them a little bit cheaper. And that part of it's pretty cool but it's the fact that the odds are worse than the more dearer packs. So it's like, would I rather dearer packs with better odds or would I rather, you know, cheaper packs but worse odds, you know? So it's very irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. If you're gonna make the packs cheaper and make them worse odds, there's no real point. It doesn't kind of just, is the whole, takes the whole purpose away. Like mid, a midweek promo like this, keep the same odds and just the same cards inside them. There's only one dark matter. There's no 100 overalls. So it should still be a 2% chance, which let's not pretend those are good odds 2K. I'll open up, let me go, let me go a couple more, but I mean, I don't know if Steph Curry's in my packs. Ooh. Another opal. Sometimes I hit the opal and I think that that's the best thing, but I gotta keep reminding myself it's actually not. This is, so I've pulled, I think I've pulled everyone besides Steph Curry. So, you know, what's with that 2K? I'll catch in everyone right now for Dark Matter Steph Curry. Can we get that happening? Cause I'll do it. I will do it. So this is how my pack opening went. Pretty standard. We pulled both the opals, all three of the pink diamonds and zero of the dark matters but it is what it is guys i hope you did enjoy this pack opening video i do recommend the grind because it seems relatively easy so let me know if you're going to participate in that grind but make sure you are subscribed to the channel make sure you leave a like on the video before you leave the video and i'll see you in the next upload it's been witnessed